Good morning, kindergarten friends. It is Wednesday, and it looks a little dreary outside today. Maybe a little more rain today, I'm not sure, but we're definitely in the season of spring, and I do hope that tomorrow we get some more sun, so it should be a nice spring day tomorrow compared to the past couple dreary, rainy, wet spring days we've had. Let's take a look at our month. Who can tell me what month we are in? <gasps> Did I hear somebody say March? We're not in March anymore. It is a brand new month. If we are not in March, what month are we in? April. We are in April. And if March is the third month, what number is April? April is the fourth month of the year. January, February, March, and April. One, two, three, four. We are in the fourth month of the year. Let's take a look at our new calendar. Now this is a little tricky. Since we don't have any numbers up there yet, how do we know what day it is? Do you remember I greeted you with the day we're right in the middle of the week. You got it. Today is Wednesday. Does anybody remember the funny way that I said Wednesday before when you look really close at the word? Wednesday. Wednesday. But we don't say it that way. We say Wednesday. And today is the first day of April. Does anybody know anything about the first day of April? Yes, some people call it April Fool's Day, and it's a day to do silly things, nothing harmful or hurtful, but just silly little jokes and tricks to make the day fun. And at the end of your joke or your trick, you say, April Fool's Day. I wonder if we'll see any jokes or tricks today. All right, my friends, get your whiteboards out. I just added a ones block. Let's see those predictions. What do you predict, predict the day will be today? How many days have we been in school? How many ones do I have? One, two. So I'm going to write a two. I have two ones. Is that enough? to trade in for a 10? No way. So how many 10s do I still have? One, two, three, three tens. Is that enough to trade in for a 100 block? Nope. So I still have 100. 100, three tens, and two ones. How do we say that number? You guys are getting to be such experts. 132. Great job, mathematicians. Let's see how we are going to count today. How are we going to count today? Fives again. We are going to become fives experts. Let's highlight those five rows. How many of you did some counting by tens yesterday with that hundred chart that I gave you? Did anybody do that? All right, let's count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Who great counting, my friends. All right. Erase your boards if you have writing on them. I forgot we never did our um, writing of the date. Let's do that really quick here. Erase your boards and we're going to write the date. Does anybody remember what number month April is? April is the fourth month. Today is April 1st. And we are still in 2020. So if you were going to write the date, you would write 4-1-20. Or you could write it the long way. April 
finger space first. You can make a fancy one if you want. Comma, 2020. Whew. April 1st, 2020. Go ahead and write the date. When you are finished, erase your boards. If you need more time, push pause and then join us. All right, my friends, we are ready to draw a window. We are ready to draw a window. Today, I am going to use the red, yellow, blue. We haven't used this one in a while. We're gonna draw that window. I'm going to find my dice and I'm going to roll the two blues. There they go. I feel like we've had that number quite a bit but that's okay. All right, my friends, my dice look like this. I'm gonna go back to how we used to do it for a little bit. We're still gonna do some subtraction, but let's write a number sentence for the number of the day down in this box. This is what my two dice look like. I hear lots of you already telling me the number. First, tell me how many are on this dice. Five. And how many are on this dice? Wow, you are right, four. I don't even think you have to count those dots anymore. You can look at this one and know that it's five. And you can look at that one and know it's four. It's kind of like snap words, but with dice. All right, my friends, if I have five on this dice, and four on this dice, how many do I have all together? I have nine. I have nine. And you know what, friends? I think tomorrow we will add the third dice and start working with even bigger numbers. Um, we'll add all three together because I feel like we keep getting the same number of the day. Practice writing your nine in the first box. You could write it a couple times if you want to practice. Okay, I'm gonna erase it so that nobody thinks our number of the day is 99. All right, my friends, let's make some dots. Let's make some daisy dots. If I have nine daisies, oh, I would be so happy. It would be such a beautiful vase. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Draw nine dots on your whiteboard. I'm going to roll the dice. Oh, we just did that one. That would be way too easy. Okay. It wants us to take away three. So if I have nine daisies, and I decide to give three to you. I'm gonna take away three of my daisies and give them to you. How many daisies will I have left to put in my vase? Let's find out. One, two, three. I got rid of those three. How many daisies do I have left? One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six daisies left to put in my vase. And I'll have to be sure to give them water and sunlight too. All right, my friends, let's do another subtraction problem. Because this is fairly new to us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Draw nine dots again, nine dots again. I'm gonna roll the pink dice again. All right, so if we were looking up at the sky and we saw nine stars, but then a cloud came along and it covered up two of my stars. It covered up two of my stars. So we were looking at nine stars. And then
and then a cloud came along and covered up two. Let's do that part again, just to make sure we didn't miss anything. Oops, did I erase the two stars? I did, I erased the two stars. Let's double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oops, eight, nine. Okay, now let's cover up two stars. One, two. So a cloud came along and covered up two stars. How many stars can we see? Nine minus two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You are right. We can still see seven stars. Our number of the day is nine. Nine minus three equals six. Nine minus two equals seven. Five plus four equals nine. Do you think you could find even more number sentences for the number nine? I would love to see what you come up with. All right, my friends, erase your boards. If you're going to make more number sentences, you can push pause and create even more number sentences with the number nine. And then join us for our morning message. All right, let's see. Today is Wednesday word day. So everybody is going to be wearing words on their shirt. I'm going to write the message that's on my shirt and maybe you can guess what shirt I'm wearing. These are the words that are on my shirt for Word Wednesday. There are some snap words on my shirt. What do you see? It? Now here's the funny thing. This word on my shirt has an apostrophe and an S. Do you know what that is? It's. It's taking the word it and the word is and squishing them together. It's What's my next word? K -u -l. K -u -l. It's cool. Here's another snap word. To B, what do you think my last word is? Does anybody have a guess what shirt I'm wearing? It's cool to be kind. It's cool to be kind. And there's even more words on my shirt. Down at the bottom of my shirt, it has the name of our school. What is the name of our school? That's right, Wixom. Elementary, lots of words on my shirt today. I wonder if any of you will be wearing the same shirt. Wouldn't that be funny? Elementary. That's a lot of writing with my mouse. Wixom Elementary, it looks so sloppy and messy. I can't wait till I can use my pen on my whiteboard. It's cool to be kind. Wixom Elementary. I can't wait to see the messages you are writing on your whiteboards. Maybe you will write the words that are on your shirt today on your whiteboard and show us. Maybe next to your shirt, you can show us your whiteboard with the same words. All right, my friends, have a wonderful morning. I will see you soon.